for my New Year's resolution, I want to lose weight, like most people. So I was like, you know what, how about I enjoy um, trying an aerobics class? And so what I did was I sweated, I jumped up and down, I gyrated, and I perspired for like 30 minutes. And right when I got my tights on, class was over. <laughs> Hi, I'm your host, Valerie Bogar, and this is Insight. And if you haven't figured out, today we're gonna talk a little bit about fitness and nutrition. And usually, at the beginning of the year, people's New Year's resolution is about losing weight and getting healthy and stay fit. And about this time frame, people are like, ah, forget it. And they just go back to eating the way they were. So pretty much the point of this episode is a little reminder, like, hey, you remember your New Year's resolution? So, um, but there's ways to do it. And you don't have to feel deprived doing it either. So you don't have to have this dilemma like, oh, should I eat this five um, slices of pizza or just this bleh, salad? So everything can be done in moderation. So you just have to remember. So if there's um, something that you wanna cut out of your diet, just cut out one thing for a week. And the same thing goes with fitness, same thing. So when you start thinking about an exercise program, and there are so many different ones, so many different ones that can be for fun. Some people do Zumba, I do Turbo Kick. Um, and these things, the cool thing about these kind of classes is you don't know that you're working out. But whatever you decide for your fitness program, just remember that you don't have to overdo it and listen to your body. And it's all in moderation. Maybe add just one fitness workout uh, per week and just keep adding on from there. And just remember, exercise can be fun and even eating. <laughs> so actually, about a few weeks back, there was an event called Strive to Lose where I was the host and I actually um, taught a fitness program. And I actually have a video to show you guys, so I want you guys to check it out. And there was 70, about 70 plus participants that were there and they were all in a team. So how about you guys check this out? And as you can see, you can have a lot of fun working out. They look like they had a blast, and it was a blast. And um, just to let you guys know that you can find your uh, soulmate workout. Um, now I want to talk to you a little bit about, actually a little bit about my journey with working out. And if you have, if you've been following along for a while with uh, Insight, you may or may not have noticed I've actually been a different size. Um, if you remember the improv um, episode, which was a lot of fun, I actually weighed in about 176 pounds, and that was in October, I believe, when we taped that. And I didn't really notice that I gained so much weight. And just to let you know, anybody can gain weight. Just, just as much as anybody can gain weight, anybody can lose weight as well. So I, I was a fitness instructor since 2008, and I stopped for about a year. And just doing that, and I ate the same foods, apparently it didn't really work well with my system, so... I started gaining weight and I didn't notice until I actually looked back on the videos and noticed the change. So when I actually saw like how much weight I've gained, I was like, ah, oh, I need to do something. I need to work out. I need to do something better. 
So, and I did. And now I uh, weigh in at 153 pounds. And as you can see, there's a little picture of me from the improv show, and you can compare it to um, a picture of me. And I took that picture, the current picture of me yesterday, and I wore the same outfit. So, and I'm actually wearing those pants right now, and they're a little big, and I'm so excited. <laughs> but just to let you know, anybody can lose weight. So, and guess what? My mom noticed the difference, and she tried to do it too. So she lost 10 pounds. I'm working with her, and she's working out. And so kids also, because they have obesity with kids, and that's on the rise. So I was actually kind of curious what kids had to say about fitness. So what I want you guys to do is check this uh, little clip out when I ask a little, uh, some questions, just a few questions about what little kids think about fitness. So you're gonna watch the video and then it'll be on a break and then after that, I'll be right back. So be sure to check us back here on Insight. It means getting active and playing football and cause when you like eat the healthy stuff, you get strong and it reminds me of boxing like I have on my own. Me sport on my week and and it reminds me of tennis, baseball, and golf. Because when you play golf, you need the right strength to get the ball in the hole. It means like do exercise. Fitness means exercising. It might not be to lose weight or to get toner. It's just exercising to keep your body fit. To me, exercise means having fun and getting fit. Um, I like to be a fast runner, and I think that everybody should get fit because it's fun and you can have fun with your friends. I think it means something. Fitness means to me is how I, you know, keep in shape and get my heart racing, my blood going, and you know, just. Feel the energy and the vibe and just go with it and know that I'm doing something good for my body. It's me and your sweat. I think fit means to me just being built and exercising a lot and eating the right food. I like the uppercuts, the singles, and mm, that's all the ones that I like. Um, like Jumping jacks, rolling in place, um, push-ups. My favorite exercise is Zumba because it's fun and I like to run around and have fun. Um, do, I do like push-ups. My favorite exercise is Zumba because you can just move around and you don't even know it's being fit because it's just a little fun dance you do. I think Miss Valerie is the strongest person I know because like she's she's just like she's you know you she can do like I feel like she can do like anything like she's really powerful and she's just who and and like she doesn't like she breaks a sweat but it's like she keeps going and she's strong to me she got the guns she got the muscles like like she's really strong to me. My papa, he um he picked up my basketball goal, and I think he could almost like pick up a truck, um not that high off the ground. I don't know. My daddy, cause he takes care of me, and he has to go to work for reasons so he can eat. My daddy, because he can do a lot of stuff for us. He can pick us up all the way and carry us and throw and throw us in the air. Not that he does that, but. He's very passionate and strong with what he does, and also he has big muscles. Like me, I'm trying to get you know toned up, trying to get my six pack going on and stuff. You know, trying to like like King Kong ain't got nothing on me, you know, because you know I'm at I'm gonna be toned up and ripped, you know, because like fitness is for everyone, I believe. My name's Isaiah. We're about to do a dance we learned from Zumba. It's called Big and Chunky.
Media reaches your customers through a powerful mix of digital media products backed by measurable results. Commercials, television advertising, strategically placed on over 55 popular networks, internet, online advertising, featured on our popular Cox.com website. Mobile, special offers, sales, and events delivered to your customers' cell phones. Express Link, in depth videos available on demand on your very own channel, showcased in your TV ads. Cox Media, your customers, delivered. Welcome back to Insight. I'm your host, Valerie. And for, um, if you're just joining us, we've actually showed a clip on what kids had to say about fitness. So it was kind of interesting interviewing them and their interesting answers. But for the most part, kids understand what fitness is and what it means to eat healthy. So that means that you guys do too, pretty much for the most part. And if you don't, that's okay. Because for this part, actually we're gonna do an activity. The first part, I'm going to help you know exactly how many calories you should be uh, intaking, as well as after that, we're actually going to do a short workout. Yes, you heard me, a short workout. We are going to do it. So what I need you guys to do is, if you can, grab a piece of paper and a pencil, and you're going to work through this. That's okay um, if you forgot some things, because on our website, on insighttelevision.org, I will have this flyer up so you guys can... Um, do this or you can pass it on to your friends and a lot of times people don't know how many calories you should eat Most people know the basic idea 2000 ish, but everybody's body type is different So you can't necessarily always go by that. So if you have your pencil and paper, let's go through it So the first thing you want to do for step one is calculate your resting metabolic rate um, You're going to take your current body weight times 10 and that will equal your resting me metabolic rate so the easiest way to do it is I'm 153 out of 0, 1530. That makes it easy. All right, next step. Calculate your daily activity burn based on your current activity levels. So if you're sedentary, that's 10%. 10, 10 and this counts your job, okay, not necessarily your workout. So if you sit down mostly in your job, you're 10%. If you're moderate, moderately active, like if you're a server or you're working at a desk or whatever, or you're standing up and talking to people, you're about, you need to add... Um, multiply by 20%. If you're very active, if you are um, in the military or if you um, are actually an athlete, then I would say multiply by 30%. Step three, add calories burned from your daily exercise. Subtract or add your, uh, what you wanna take out of your diet, and this is just a tip, don't take out more than 500 calories per day, okay? probably no more, definitely no more than 1,000. So I would stick to about 500. If you wanna gain weight, add 500 calories. Put all those numbers together to find out how many calories you need. So you would do resting metabolic rate um, plus your DAB plus DE minus CD, which equals your calorie target. And it's okay if you don't remember because I will provide this on the website. The next slide is about the food guide pyramid. And I know you guys remember this, but for this one, I actually provided a food guide plate. You probably can't read it because of the screen size, but that's okay. I'm gonna explain a little bit what's on there, on the website, and also I'll talk about it a little bit right now. So this gives you a visual of what's on your plate. So you'll see where you mostly are supposed to eat. You're supposed to mostly eat vegetables and whatnot. So if you know the basic idea what your plate should look like, then that means you'll probably reach your goals in losing weight. But remember, did you notice, there's no spot on there for candy or cake. All right, the next thing, take note, is how often you should eat. And you should actually eat five to six meals per day. That's actually good for you, not eating three large meals. You should eat five to six small, and about every three hours. I love this, because that means I'm always like, yay, it's time for me to eat. And by the way, when I'm done taping this show, it'll be time for me to eat. 
Lastly, helpful tips. Make sure to check with your doctor before starting a strenuous program. Be patient, don't stress. Create a, ro uh, a routine that works for you and something that you can actually stick with. Listen to your body. This is very, very important. Like if you're doing um, a workout like Insanity, have you ever heard of that? Um, basically, you're working high intensity for a long periods of time. And if you have bad knees, probably not a good idea for you. So that's why, again, you would check with your doctor. But if you don't have your own personal doctor, you can kind of figure out what you can or cannot do. Or if you have back pain, you probably shouldn't do something like that. But something a little bit different like yoga or something. Um, and remember to breathe deeply and calm yourself. And most of these tips you can actually take with you, not just nutrition and fitness, but in your everyday life. You don't want to be stressful. You need to cre create a routine. You need to listen to your body and you need to calm yourself. This goes with everything. So now that nutrition is totally and completely out of the way, I'm actually going to do a workout with you. So take your piece of paper and pencil out of the way and grab a towel and um, a bottle of water. It's just going to be really brief, only a five minute workout, so don't worry too much. I will have a f longer version of it available on the website. And if you want to actually go into my classes, you can go to www.valstarfitness.com. And on there, it'll talk about more about my personal story and how I lost weight, and also when I actually, where I teach and how often I teach. And what I'm going to do is you're going to actually see this uh, video clip, the fitness video clip. And then when we come, and then we'll actually have a short break after that. And when we come back, there'll be a special guest that's talking about Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation. So are you ready to work out? I know I am. Here we go. Hi, welcome. We're actually going to start off with a warm up, okay? Let's loosen up our shoulders. There you go. Good job. Just doing a good warm up. All right, now don't bother. Jab to the front. Good job. And make sure you have it even with your eyes. There you go. And notice how I'm twisting on my knees. Because if I don't, then that's not going to be your Turn with if you want to. Again. 
turbo round. Now normally how this goes, I have a bunch of little sections, punches around, kicks around, kicking around, and then we have our turbo round. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that now since this is just a little taste of what we're gonna do. Basically turbo is hit, which is high intensity interval training. So that means you're gonna work at a level 10 for one minute, and then we take like a 30 second to one minute break, and then we do it again. But this time we're just gonna do it once. Are you guys ready? Um, you hear that siren? All right, we're gonna do jump ropes. If you want to, you can just jump rope like this, okay? For a low, okay, intensity, okay? If not, you can run like this. Run forward, jump back, four, two, three, four. Jump back, one, two, three, jump. There you go, and remember, punches even with your eyes, switch. So I'm combining our recovery with leg and ab work. All right, what they call this one is Jenga. Okay? But make sure you twist. You work your own Remember when you wanted to stay up all night for the fun of it? Well, now you can while fighting cancer. Join the American Cancer Society Relay for Life of Fort Walton Beach at 6 p.m. on Friday, April 26th till noon, Saturday, April 27th at Choctahatchee High School. Help raise money to fight cancer and support local programs like Look Good, Feel Better, Reach to Recovery, and Road to Recovery. Call 244-3813 to learn how you can celebrate, remember, and fight back with Relay for Life. For more information, visit RelayForLife.org. Hi, welcome back to Insight. Joining me is Lauren Magley, and she's the Director of Events for the Destin Charity Wine Oxen Foundation. So hi, how are you doing? And I remember you because I actually volunteer at some of your events. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> doing well. Thanks for having me on. Oh yeah, thank you so much for coming. Um, how about you tell us a little bit about um, Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation? Absolutely. Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation was formed uh, back in 2006 by a group of just citizens in the community who really enjoyed drinking wine and wanted to do something positive with it to give back to the community. Um, so we started a charity wine auction and named it the Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation and uh, we're going into our eighth year now awesome. and over the eight years that we've been around we have raised 4.7 million dollars for oh charities goodness. yeah and <laughs> all the money that we raise goes mm -hmm. to help charities in Northwest Florida who support children in need well, that's amazing. Just just the idea of finding something that they love doing, and then you know, I never knew that's how it started. So that's amazing in raising that much money. That's something you hear like maybe on uh, on TV and in New York. You wouldn't think this area. So that's awesome that yeah. it's able to do something like that. It's really cool. Last year alone, we raised one point two million dollars. Oh my goodness! So that's we're wonderful. hoping to break that one point five million dollar <laughs> mark this year. Um, can you tell us? Uh, 
more about like uh, the charities and stuff because I know you have like a new uh, wine festival coming out. Yeah. We so can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So we adopt our charities on an annual mm -hmm. basis. This year we have 14 separate charities that we support. So our charities are funded by particular projects. Um, Youth Village, mm -hmm. which you're familiar with, right. is one of our charities and we raise money to do scholarship funds for some of the children that go to Youth Village and each one of our charities mm -hmm. will have, you know, a separate program that we fund for them. Um, the new wine festival, it's really exciting. It's called the South Walton Beaches Wine and Food Festival. It's coming up on the fourth weekend of April. Um, it takes place at the Grand Boulevard Town Center okay. and we'll have over 800 different wines for people to come and try. It's on that Friday and Saturday. Tickets are $85 a day or $130 for the entire weekend and 100% of the proceeds from the festival all benefit Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation. So that's, it's, that's it's really cool. That sounds so cool. And I know it's a lot of fun because I volunteered. So is there anything that you would um, ask our uh, viewers? What would you want from our viewers? I would love to invite everyone who's watching today to come out to the new wine festival. It's called the South Walton Beaches Wine and Food Festival. It's on the fourth weekend of April. And just come out, drink some wine, have some good food, and support charity in the meantime. It's all about, you know, giving back to our community and really supporting those who are you know, need our help. Definitely. And I have been to the, some of the, like, to the events and stuff, even just like as a guest. And it's weird, like, I know I'm helping out, you know, other charities and not just our own, but then we're having so much fun, it doesn't feel like it. Exactly. <laughs> you feel kind of guilty, you're like, are you sure this is a charity? Exactly. I mean, this is a lot of fun. You're having fun, <laughs> and it really is for a great cause. So. Well, you know, thank you so much Absolutely. for being on the show. And uh, it sounds like so much fun, and I can't wait for this uh, new event that's coming out, and so check that out. And, um, and a matter of fact, um, actually, I will be there to volunteer, actually. All right, so, um, there we go. <laughs> but thank you so much, uh, Lauren, for joining us um, on In Insight. And I wish you and Destin Charity and great success. And I'm pretty sure it will happen because y'all are, thank you. I mean, you're doing, I mean, you're like, doubling like every time you Thank do something you. you're having events so I'm pretty sure you're gonna do a wonderful job and Thank I hope you. people who see this who live in other um, areas mimic this because we want it's not just about us it's about everybody absolutely um, so please take a look and um, on Facebook so if you want more information about a Destin Charity Wine Auction event and you want to know more how you can volunteer so you can actually check us out on our website at www.insighttelevision.org or you can check out on your website. Can you tell us uh, your uh -huh. website? The website for the New Wine Festival is sowallwine.com. So it's S-O-W-A-L-Wine.com. Okay, so go ahead and check that out. And also remember to go to our Facebook page and like us. All right, so um, thank you again for coming. Thanks for having me. And thank you guys for watching here on Insight.